This week, most of the students in the studio completed the first assignment in the composition journey and moved on to the second, making a motif. For you to support them in this step, I want to provide a brief explanation defining a motif. The concept of a motif is central to composition theory. The dictionary definition of a motif is a recurring subject, theme, or idea, especially in a literary, artistic, or musical work. In plain speak, we can say that a motif is something small that is used repetitively in an artistic work to unify the piece. Let's take a look at a couple of examples outside of music. This is Van Gogh's Starry Night. A motif in this painting is the star. The star is a small object that is repeated many times. It dominates the piece of art and provides unity. This motif is identifying. If you see a similar star outside of this painting, you will probably think, that's just like Starry Night. This is a book that many parents have read many times in the past. Dr. Seuss favors repetitive motifs in his writing. Does this sound familiar? I do not like green eggs and ham. The motif here is the words, I do not like. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I could go on. At the conclusion of the book, a variation of the motif is, I do so like green eggs and ham. This motif is used with such repetition to dominate the piece. It unifies the work from beginning to end. This motif is identifying and memorable. After having read this book, when you hear a person say, I do not like, you might even hear a voice inside of your head finish with green eggs and ham. So how does this apply to music? In music, a motif is a small succession of notes or a short rhythm. The important thing to note is that it is small. It is used repetitively to build phrases and passages in the piece. When a motif is used well, it dominates the composition and becomes identifying. Sometimes the motif repeats as a direct copy. Sometimes it is written in variations or further developed. A current example of strong use of a motif is in the Imagine Dragon song, Thunder. Let's listen to a brief section of the song. The quick fuse, Do you hear the motif? G-E-G-B, 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 G-E-G-B. This is a single measure motif. It repeats throughout the whole song. If you hear this melody hummed in this rhythm and have heard the song, you will likely recognize it. A classical example can be found in Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Let's listen. Do you hear the motif? This motif is four measures long. G, 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 E flat, F, 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 D. This motif is also used repetitively in such a way that it is symbolic of the entire piece. It unifies the musical composition and is identifying. Motifs are powerful compositional tools. This is why we are beginning our compositions by constructing a motif. This is not the only way to compose music. It is just the way that we are composing our pieces this time. Your pianist was given several ideas for a starting point to construct their motif, using lyrics, rhythm, selecting a key, choosing an existing song to modify, starting with a familiar chord passage, or developing a groove beat. The students are creative, and each of these options has been selected at least once. We began building the motif in the lesson, but all of the students should be playing around on the piano during practice time this week to search for the notes that they most like for their own motif. They have scratch paper to do this and have been asked to write down everything that they like so that they do not lose their ideas. This is a small assignment. I am looking for only two to four measures from each student. This is just six to 16 beats of music. In the next assignment, they will take their motif and use it to develop a complete phrase or two of music. So now you know what a motif is and you know how to support your pianist in their assignment this week. Thank you so much for listening.